Greeting, you might probably have an old laptop lying around and if you haven't thrown it away yet, that's great. According to figure released by the Pollution Control Department of Thailand in 2020, there are over 400,000 tons of electronic waste generated in Thailand, ranking it in the top third among ASEAN countries for highest e-waste generation. I am Seni from Seni Ride and Tech or Seni 60D and today, I would like to teach you how to give your old laptop a new life with my example being this. A ThinkPad X60S, an ultra portable laptop from 2006. I received the ThinkPad X60S as a childhood laptop from my father. It was his work laptop that he bought for himself when he was working aboard, and I have gotten a chance to own it afterward. The original operating system that comes with this laptop is Windows XP and later I installed Windows 7 on it. Now, in 2025, Windows and many software have simply become too resource intensive. And one alternative that I have discovered and would like to share today is Linux based operating system. And today I choose Debian for its simplicity, familiarity, with App Package Manager as an Ubuntu user and support for various architecture. Before we get started, if you're on Windows system, what you will need is the Debian ISO file from Debian website. Now, every website, I will link it in the description. If you're on 64-bit CPU, you can go ahead and install the latest Debian version, which is Debian 13. But for this video, my laptop still has a 32-bit CPU, so we'll install the older version instead, which is Debian 12. Uh, the link will also be in the description to both the Debian 13 and Debian 12. And if you're in the Debian 12, you can go ahead and choose the CD image, your architecture, and click download. If you want Debian 13, you can go ahead and click that big download button right here. Next, we'll also install Rufus. So this Rufus you will use to create bootable USB drive with your Debian ISO. So enter this website, rufus.ie, scroll down and click download on the rufus.exe file. Before we head into the next step, make sure you have a USB flash drive, at least 4GB in size, but I recommend 8GB. After downloading both Rufus and Debian ISO, we're gonna double click on the Rufus file, and if user account control pops up, just click yes. Now, in Rufus, plug in your USB drive into your laptop, <coughs> Choose your USB drive and the drive up in the device option. And then choose your ISO file with a select button. Choose the Debian ISO and press open. You can leave everything as default and you can press start right away. After the burning process is done, you can eject the USB drive from your computer and then plug it into your old laptop. After plugging in your USB drive, just power on your laptop and try to boot from the USB drive. This can be done either by changing the boot option in the BIOS setup, or in the case of this laptop, you can press F12 to choose a temporary boot device. After booting from the USB drive, choose the graphical install option with an enter key. Now, the installation process is quite simple and the installation manual will be linked in the description. But we will go through the installation process together. You can use your mouse or your keyboard to navigate and press go back or continue to navigate between each installation page. First, we select the installer language and select your location, in this case, I'll choose Thailand.
Now, choose your locale, but we'll go with United States for this one. And then configure your keyboard layout, which will also use American English. After choosing the locale and keyboard layout, the installer will attempt to load additional content and will detect your network. We'll choose the wireless network for this one. And now you can choose to connect to the internet before installing. After connecting to the network, we will now name our PC, which in this case, I will name it as Sunny-Debian. For the home user, we can ignore the domain name option. Now, we will skip the root password because we will want our user to have the super user privilege and the ability to use sudo command when executing each command. We will skip this by moving our cursor to continue and press it. And now it's time to create our user. This will be your display name. So we will go with something more flashy, more fancy. Yeah, this is as fancy as it gets. I have no idea. And this will be your username, which you will use for logging in. And only lowercase letter is allowed. And it's time to create your password. We'll go with And after configuring your username, it is time to create a password for your user. After configuring user and password, it is now time to partition your disk for the Debian install. But for this video, we will choose the first option, which we will erase entire hard disk and install Debian on it. After confirming your choice, just press enter on finish partitioning and right chain to disk. Move your cursor to yes to confirm it once more and continue to confirm your action. In the partitioning process, make sure you chose the correct drive for your Debian install. After partitioning your system, the installer will now attempt to install the base Debian install on your laptop. After the base installation is complete, in the software selection, you will choose to install various graphical environment. But for this video, we will choose LXQT, which is a lightweight graphical environment for older hardware. But you can choose something like GNOME, KDE Plasma, or FXCE. After the installer has installed the system, we can now install the bootloader. Since we chose to delete the entire disk and install Debian as the only operating system, we can safely install Grub Bootloader right away. Just highlight the Yes option and continue. And choose your device and choose your <coughs> after clicking on con after clicking on continue, choose the drive you want to install the bootloader on. We will choose the same drive that we we'll use to install Debian and continue. And if everything went okay, the installation is now complete. You can press continue to reboot your laptop. After rebooting, you will be prompt in GNU Grub bootloader screen. You can press enter on the highlight Debian GNU Linux text to boot into Debian system. After booting in, you will be prompt to enter your username and your password. And voila! Welcome to your new Debian system. After installing 
you can use Firefox ESR to access the internet. Use LibreOffice Office Suite to as a replacement to Microsoft Office. Uh, Audacious to listen to music file and a lot more to explore. You can use the terminal, the app command in the terminal to, to install, remove, or upgrade your application. And that is all for the video. If you find this video useful, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment your thought, and share this video to spread awareness about electronic waste and saving more old hardware. Sunny out.